Hey fam bam, PM here. Fam, um, today I will be making AM's favorite and my favorite too, which is Sinigang Nabamoos. So we're gonna be cooking milk fish. We've got two of our fish over here. And if you guys wanna follow this recipe, we're gonna link down all of the ingredients down below in the description. And we're also gonna start cooking now. So what we'll need is basically, obviously, milk fish. Right, and we're gonna need some um, tomatoes, onions, some radish, okra, eggplant or aubergine, and some pak choy, which is pet chai. And we're just basically going to need um, the sachet for sinigang mix and a little bit of water. No, well, not a little bit, a lot of water. So let's get in, let's get cooking. So we're going to be using two of this um, sachet, which is about 20 grams. So it makes a litre, but AM likes it really, really sour. Mm. So we're going to be using two of this. All right, let's get cooking. First thing that I'll need to do is basically put in my water in the pot. Woo! So we're using about a litre of water over here. That should be enough because I've already boiled up the other half. Right, so this is really, really hot now, Fam Bam. The first thing we're gonna do is put in our onion over here and our tomatoes. There we go. I think she's in the gun already. As well as the radish. Because we want the radish to be really, really soft. And tender. Or tender. So nice. So, whilst this is boiling up, what I'm going to do to give that flavour, I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of salt. Just to give it flavour. This is a very, very easy cooking because all you have to do is put all of them in there, make sure that's all cooked up and then the flavor is already sunk in into the water. Then right after that, all you have to do is put in your okra, your aubergine, and then put your, your pak choy with the fish. So you put in those, those two first and then the fish and the pak choy because the fish and the pak choy actually cooks at the same time but it will also give that flavor. Hey fam, this has been boiling up for about 10 minutes now. And what I'm going to do is basically put in our sachet and put in the rest. Thanks, so, yeah. I'm just gonna slice this up. Ready? Ready? And I'm also going to tr test this now to see if we need a little bit more salt or not. Oh good. And we are now going to put our okra. This is really, really easy to cook. It's a lot easier to cook than pork, right baby? Yeah, pork. Or beef or chicken. Because the fish doesn't take a lot of time to cook. So I'm just gonna slice this in three. And the reason why I don't put, um, I don't, so the reason why I don't slice 
the aubergine first or with the other vegetables because it goes dark quite easily so I let it stay in this position in this standard like this and then one before I put it in the pot I, I will then slice it That's our sinigang. Just gonna let this cook for about five minutes and I'm gonna put the rest in. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and also I'm gonna put a little bit of chili for my for my enjoyment later on. And we're gonna go eat. I'm so excited. AM hasn't had sinigang na bongos since March, right baby? Yes. So we're now in September. That's a long time, baby. Yeah. Thanks for PM for buying it, right? Yes, thank you. PM. We should have cooked a lot more bangus, but or AM a bigger, says bigger, a bigger bangus. Yeah, bigger bangus, but AM said she'd only cook two. There we go. So um wish granted AM. <laughs> and I want to have a soup as well. Yes. It's getting a little bit cold in London as well. Yeah. Ah, let's go. That's what we go for. Yes. Shall we eat? No joke. Not yet. Give it five minutes and then we'll put the rest and then give it another five minutes and then we can eat. Yay! Yay! There we go fam. This has been cooking for about altogether 15 minutes now. And we're now gonna put in our fish. That means we're cooking in the next five minutes. Well, we're eating in the next five minutes. <laughs> cooking. We've been cooking. Put the fish in. Just make sure it's underneath. So we've got the stuffings inside as well. The stuffing is of what? Of the fish. Oh. Alright. So that goes in. Because the fish only takes a little bit of time to, to cook. And we're going to put in our chilies inside All right and then the rest of the veg yeah. we're cooking baby that's it and all we have to do is wait for this to cook for about five to seven minutes we're ready to eat So that's it fam bam. This has been cooking for about five minutes now with the fish in it and we're gonna end the video over here. Hope you found this video very informative and you learned how to cook sinigang na bangus or milk fish and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so and turn on the notification bell so that you guys get notified whenever we cook some Filipino food like this and be sure that we'll, there will be more Filipino cooking in the future and we'll see you in our next video which is the mukbang part of this cooking obviously there will be an eating part duh <laughs> see you in a little bit bye you got that something that can't be seen you got that one thing that's hard to come by